let's begin and the very first thing that we are going to learn is that basically what is an operating system we are going to do a full course on operating systems and it is very right to just start with an introduction to operating system so in this video we will be introducing what an operating system is basically and what it does right so that in the further videos we can analyze it better and in this video we'll be just keeping it a brief and in later on stages as the course progress we will be defining them in a more appropriate way so in this video let's just see what an operating system basically is so operating system is a program that manages computer hardware right so what we are saying is that computer hardware, examples like monitor, printer, keyboard, etc. All these are computer hardwares. The operating system is a program that manages these hardwares. It also provides a basis for application programs. That is, it acts as an intermediary between the computer user and the computer hardware. Right. So basically what it is saying is, that it is an interface, it is an intermediary between the user and the computer hardware. Now let's take an example. Suppose a user want to use a hardware. It is very difficult without an operating system. For example, when we code something, right? We just write that, okay, in C language programming, we say printf and the output is displayed on the screen. We don't know what is happening with the word printf, right? All that is controlled by the operating system. But if there was no operating system, we would have to code for printf as well. And each time we were to use the printf statement, we will be using the code again and again as printf is also a system call. We'll be doing about system calls further, but for now you need to understand that a operating system is the medium, is the intermediary medium for a user to communicate with the hardware. In earlier times, there was no operating system and they used to actually try to communicate with the hardware directly. So each time they wanted to do anything, they had to write so much of code. You can just see that a printf is the simplest example of how easy it is to print a statement, right? But for that work also, you will have to go through a lot of coding if operating system is not involved, right? So this is where the operating system comes in the picture, right? So what is an operating system in an easy language? Operating system is a program that acts as an interface between the user and the computer hardware and controls the execution of all kinds of programs, right? So what does an operating system does? First of all, it is an interface between the user and the computer hardware. And second of all, it controls the execution of all kinds of programs, right? So these are the two things. Now, as we are talking about this, operating systems are designed to provide an environment in which a user can easily interface with computer to execute the programs. I am saying the same thing again that the operating system provides an environment in which it is easy to communicate to execute programs with the help of computer hardware. So, it is an interface, right? So now let's see some of the other functions our operating system is used for. First of all, it's an interface and the second thing is it's a resource allocator. What we mean by a resource allocator is during few of the or some of the processes, what happens is some resources like printer or any other input keyboard is to be used that these are the resources and some processes are to be carried out and these resources are to be shared, right? So, the operating system is responsible for allotting these resources to different processes at different times and help them in the execution. We'll be doing this in 
much more deep in the further upcoming videos but in this video i won't tell that it is a resource allocator as well right if there are two processes and both of them want to print out something and want to use the resource printer then operating system will allocate at what time at what instance the printer is to be allocated to which of the process and after the execution that resource is to be given to the other process right so this whole thing is managed by the operating system so it's a resource allocator now looking further important functions of operating system right so we have listed main main eight of them which are just named over here and we'll be going through each and every one of it in the further upcoming videos so first of all memory management like i told you that it's a resource allocator right so now there are things which need to be cataloged it is a manager right it keeps track of how much memory is available how much memory has been consumed how much memory has been taken by which process and all other memory management is done right so it acts as an manager second is processor management right so it is the same which processes are being executed cataloging all the processes what is their needs and what they require to just go through and then is the device management here the hardware management is carried out which hardware is attached what devices are connected and what devices are to be connected or are required to execute the program or the process same way file management which files are open which files are closed or which process needs what kind of files everything is managed by the operating system and it acts as an manager right next is security security is very important because suppose two different processes are um, using the same resource or the are changing or updating a same resource then it will create a situation a problematic situation because one process is in editing of some of the resource and the other is jumping in and doing the same so there won't be a consistency in the result right so security is also a major issue and all this is controlled by the operating system next is error detecting aid operating system also acts as an error detecting aid it helps us identify and detect errors right we will be doing all these in the upcoming videos so next is control over system performance operating system plays a very important role in overall performance of the system as i told you it's an interface of connecting the user and the hardware and as i told the printf example if we were to write all the code again and again the performance would decrease like a lot right but because of the operating system these things are been taken care of because printf the purpose of printf is like all the users are requiring it most of the users are requiring it then why to code it again and again so what they did they coded it once and put it there for everybody's use right so this was to enhance the performance the time that was taken reduced right and it became very very easy and the performance also increased in the very same manner there are a number of examples and number of ways how it helps to increase the system performance next is coordination between other softwares and users so in our computer system we are having different operating systems like multi programming multi user multi processor we'll be doing these so it also helps to coordinate other softwares and the users if two users are working then it will help to just coordinate so each user will feel that the operating system the computer is only dealing with that user and no other user is 
there it maintains such also coordinations right so these are the main functions basically just a very brief heading of important functions of operating system so from exam point of view mostly the question appears what is an operating system and list important functions of operating system and it's usually of five marks from a college point of view so this is the perfect answer for your question here is the main definition that it is an interface and it controls execution of all kinds of programs and here are the important functions memory management processor management device management file management security error aiding aids control over system performance and coordination between softwares and users right guys so if you didn't grasp all these things so fast don't worry just go through it once and we will be coming across all of these each and every topic in detail in the upcoming videos so just keep it tight and keep watching thank you